Hello, sixth grade. I just wanted to take a minute to walk you through two, the two parts of our assignment that we're going to be doing. Uh, the first part is going to be researching your superpowers for your character that you're going to make. And the next one is to actually uh, choose a superhero mentor. So the first one, I just wanna explain a little bit about the worksheet and then I'll walk you through the first part. The second video will explain to you choosing a superhero mentor. So if you look at the very top of this assignment, you'll see that it's a two part, three day assignment. You have three days to work on this assignment and there's a reason for that. The assignment will be due on Wednesday, April 15th. So the first part, if you notice it says superpowers, I put a little bookmark here. So if you're not sure what part you're doing, you can click on the bookmark and it will take you to there. And if you're working on superhero mentors, you can click here and then click the bookmark and it will jump you down to this next part. So if you're scrolling and scrolling and you're not sure which is which, those bookmarks at the top should be able to help you. So the first part of your worksheet is researching superpowers. And so what I've done here is I've given you 10 different superpowers to choose from. And each superpower has a link that explains to you what the superpower is. You'll see here that there are two superpowers that have what looks like two different things. You can choose to grow or shrink, or you can choose to grow and shrink. You can choose to manipulate ice, manipulate cold, or manipulate ice and cold. But again, that's up to you. Okay. So the selections that you have are animal form, growth and shrinking, hyperspeed, telekinesis, time manipulation, fire manipulation, ice cold manipulation, photographic reflexes, teleportation, and weather manipulation. Once you click on one of these, so if I click on animal form, it will give me a link. I'll be able to click on it and it will take me to a web page that will explain to me what is animal morphing. It will walk you through some examples, let's get rid of that, and um, give you some specifics so um, it could be animal, um, you could do the animal and it could be form or mimicry of an animal. Uh, it could be shape-shifting. Um, if you know what skinwalkers are, maybe something like that. And then it'll tell you the different kinds of things that you can do in that form. So what you're capable of doing and then variations of that form. So if you wanna look into um, plankton physiology, Maybe that's something you'd like to utilize. Um, and then there are also some other associations like um, the mythical bestiary. It'll also point out to you the limitations of that power. And when you get to actually creating the character, which you'll do later in the week, you're going to very much want to be aware of the limitations of those powers. Uh, and then again, it also has um, known users of these different kinds of powers um, from television to comic books, anime and manga. Um, there are all sorts of different examples. So when you're thinking about um, what your character is, you'll also be able to use this to pick a mentor later, but we'll come back to that. So when you click on your superpower that you're interested in, follow the link. The research part of it is actually reading about what it is that that power does. Okay. Once you've done that, it says here to choose one of the above powers and highlight it. So what you'll do is you'll highlight the one that you want. You'll go up here to the highlight color tool. Looks like a little marker. And you'll highlight that particular um, superpower that you want. Okay. So whichever one that you choose, please highlight it so that you know which one it is. The next part that you can look at is to read through each of these different character types. So they're also referred to as quote unquote races, okay? So the different ones that you can choose from are alien, mutant, shapeshifter or changeling, artificial intelligence or robot, altered human and high-tech hero. Under each of these is a description of what they are and what are some of the characters that maybe um, have used this? So for example, if you're interested in artificial intelligence and robots, 
Um, it explains that robots are artificially created sentient beings, which means they can think for themselves. And this includes organic constructs, clones, life models, decoys, cyborgs, mystically powered golems, synthesoids, androids, and just in general, robots. Um, examples of some of these might be Vision or even Baymax. In case you're in doubt, Baymax is an actual comic book character. So Big Hero 6, check it out. So each of these will offer you those types of information, okay? And for now, let's just say I'm going to choose an artificial intelligence or robot character type or race. Uh, and then it asked me down here to choose one of these and highlight it. So just like I did above, I'm going to highlight what it is that I'm choosing. And then I'm going to go up here to the highlight color tool, click on it and highlight it. So now I know that I'm going to use the superpower of animal form um, with the character type or race of artificial intelligence or robot. And then down here, I'm going to actually explain how these powers and the character, how they work together. So I know that I've chosen the animal form and like I said, the artificial intelligence robot. So now I'm gonna think about how do these two things work together, okay? So I know that um, I am going to choose to be, um, I'm going to choose to be a robot. So I am going to create a robot superhero. This robot superhero is going to have the ability to change into animal forms. My robot will be able to view a type of animal and duplicate that particular animal for um, the need that is present for that character. For example, if I am in the ocean and I am fighting some sort of battle, I might take the form of a shark. And just so you guys don't get weird, just because my robot is a robot doesn't mean it can't handle water, okay? Um, the downside to this robot shark, though, um, might be that I can only stay as a shark for 30 minutes. But I take on all the features of that animal. So I would have the skin of the shark, I'd be able to have the eyes, the senses, all of those types of things. So you'd explain how do your two how do your two um, pieces you've chosen how are they going to work together? So how will my animal and my animal my robot and my animal form work together? And so that's the first part of this particular worksheet is to actually start to take your superpower and match it up to the type of character that you want to be. Okay, so watch the second video to learn more about how to pick out your superhero mentor.